Hello everyone, Close Call Sports presented by Outwest Officials with a question from... No, they didn't ask me this directly, but you did, so let's answer the question. Why did the runner get two bases? Gomez hits it high in the air to left center field, chasing Pereira back. Over goes Dominguez as well, and it is Dominguez who makes the catch. One pitch to get rid of Dario Gomez has the Binghamton Rumble Ponies down to their final out. Final hope for Binghamton. He started this game with a double off of Gray Fenter. And they're going to move the runners to second and third here. And Sanger is coming around to score. They're moving Ritter to third base now. It is four to three, Somerset. And Jay on Kim is explaining the issue that happened just now. If you know the rule book, you probably have an inkling of what happened, but let's go to the base awards section of the book. As a fan, anytime you watch a game and you see a runner awarded a base you don't know why, this part of the rule book is probably your best bet to find a quick answer. It's rule 506B4 rolls off the tongue, doesn't it? College equivalent 8-3, the high school equivalent 8-3-3. This rule lists the most common base awards for runners. I've broken it down by number of bases awarded. Now the question is why did the runner get two bases? So let's narrow it down to only those two base awards provisions D through G. Gomez hits it high in the air to left center field chasing Pereira back. First thing we notice is this is not a fair ball bouncing out of play, the colloquially named ground rule double. If you want to be super nerdy about it like me, you can call it a rule book double instead because this two base award for a fair ball bouncing out of play is found in the rule book, not the ground rules in most cases. Hi Angel Hernandez, long time no see. So let's remove provision F from the list. We'll also remove E because there was no thrown glove touching a fair ball on that play. Remember, the thrown glove has to actually touch the ball for the rule to apply, so Kershaw's inaccurate throw means no penalty applies. That leaves us with two possibilities regarding thrown balls. The fielder here, third baseman, catches the ball in the glove, doesn't use any detached equipment or like a cap to do it, so D goes away as well. That means that we're left with G. Thrown ball goes out of play. So how did that happen? I noticed the pitcher doesn't have a ball holding a glove up like he's expecting a new ball. That means that the old ball is probably not on the field anymore. What likely happened was the third baseman, the catcher, or the pitcher, whoever had the ball after this was all over, threw the ball out of play without requesting time from the umpires or making sure that time was out. Kershaw did that too, by the way. Clayton Kershaw just threw the ball away and into the dugout. He was so frustrated. And don't forget about Milton Bradley, accidentally. He, better, he doesn't know how many outs there are. He just throws the ball into the bleachers. There you see the umpire calls time, points at third, there was a runner on first, they get third base, that's how that rule works. It's a two base from time of throw penalty. That's what occurs here as well, and that's the answer to why did the runners get two bases. Thanks for the question. Please subscribe for more of this content. I love doing it. Visit us online at CloseCallSports.com, Twitter and Facebook at CloseCallSports. We'll see you on the site, or maybe Discord.